My name is Cody Jacobs. I'm a student of anthropology and photography at Concordia University, and this is my fourth year here. I met Brayden, um, another member of our project in a class where he, as a class project, brought in some home-brewed beer, and I tasted it, and I thought this is the best beer I've ever had. And uh, I thought I'd love to learn how to make this, and so I ended up getting involved that way. And um, since then, I've just been learning how beer is made and um, what I like about beer and what is sort of unique about the process of brewing beer and, and what every individual can bring to that process. Could you describe to us the history of Brasserie Illuminae? Yeah, the history of Brasserie Illuminae uh, has actually, it's, it's been around for a really long time, this sort of idea that students would be able, be, would be able to brew beer on campus and provide beer on campus. But it's, its recent uh, incorporation with this title, La Brasserie de Illuminae, is uh, really connected to Satoshi's uh, social internship course. So there were a couple students from that course that decided to take this on as a project. And uh, it's with their, their effort and the effort of many other students that became involved that we've actually fully incorporated. And uh, we're just working on getting all the legalities covered right now because it's quite a process to fully uh, have a fully functioning microbrewery, especially as full-time students, which most of us are. But um, yeah, it was mostly through Satoshi's internship course. And, and also there are many students from his uh, political economy of food course that became involved in the project because it's in that course that a lot of us have sort of realized what things we'd like to see change on campus. Could you uh, tell us about the mission of Professor Illuminae? Yes. So Brasserie Illuminae's mission is to provide students on campus with an alternative means to purchasing beer and with the educational, uh, the educational means to be able to brew their own beer. And so in doing so, um, regain some food sovereignty, be able to um, sustainably uh, drink. <laughs> and uh, buy locally and uh, do something for the students by the students. What partners does Brasser Illuminae have? Brasser Illuminae is being sponsored by the CSU Special Project Funding, by the Sustainability Action Fund, and by CCSL. To follow up on that, could you uh, describe how people can become members? Yeah. Right now, um, it's primarily through our website that you can contact us, although any, anyone in our group is on campus at any given time, but primarily through our website, which is illuminates.ca, and on that page you'll be able to find a section for contact us and how to get involved, and um, that would be the primary way to contact us. And uh, as far as getting involved, we're, we're still growing, so we're looking for anyone that's interested in learning how to brew, anyone that's interested in a cooperative model, anyone that's interested in becoming a part of uh, regaining food sovereignty on Concordia's campus. Definitely contact us. Could you describe the division of labor within your cooperative? Yeah, right now, as uh, we're a solidarity cooperative and we're non-hierarchical, the division of labor is really um, very egalitarian. So everyone fulfills responsibilities that they feel are most appropriate for them, and that overlaps a lot. So there aren't really particular people that fulfill all responsibilities in one section. We're really all working together to create uh, an environment where we're all accepted and we're all able to grow with each other and learn from each other and um, listen to one another. Can you talk about the vision, the short-term vision and long-term vision of Brasserie Illuminae? Yeah, so for the short term, Brasserie Illuminae would love to um, be able to provide students at Concordia University with an alternative means of making and uh, purchasing local beer. Um, so in the long term, that would mean that perhaps we'd have a local, a local tap at, um, at Reggie's upon its opening that we'd be able to provide to different student groups on campus when they're having events. So if there was orientation in the beginning of the year, perhaps Brasserie Illuminae would be able to actually provide beer, but this is a long-term goal and we're just working to get there. Could you describe uh, Brasher Illuminae's contribution to sustainability? Yeah, 
So right now, our most immediate contribution to sustainability is that we are providing students with the ability to learn how to brew their own beer. So that's really the most immediate way. Um, and in the long term, we would love to be able to provide students with locally sourced and sustainably sourced beer. And that, in order to have that happen, we would love to be able to compost our uh, grain, our used grain, um, and perhaps there could be other projects working with us, like growing things from our grain, maybe the compost project at the greenhouse. Uh, there are lots of different ways in which it could go, but that's a little bit further down the line. For right now, it's really uh, focusing on how we can, we can learn from fellow students and also uh, teach fellow students about brewing. Could you describe to me what you think an ideal food system at Concordia would look like? Yeah, an ideal food system at Concordia, in my opinion, would look like uh, something similar to people's potato. I love the idea that people volunteer their time and are able to work with other students to provide food for students, really, really delicious food. And um, I also think that the Hive is doing a great job of providing students with a alternative way of buying food. So um, I guess what I'd like to see in a food system at Concordia is, is one where all the students are, are working together to create an environment where they can eat locally and sustainably and also be learning about food and, and regain their own food sovereignty. So I'd like to see that you know, we're not buying food from uh, huge companies that are, are giving us lots of GMO food and I'd love it if we were having lots of pesticide free food, all of these things. And I think that there's a really great community at Concordia working to get that to happen.